Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God of all time, of all places, and of all people, we give you thanks for your presence here today as we not only recognize the accomplishment of these young women and men, beacons of the future, but also the love and dedication of parents, loved ones, mentors, educators, and administrators that help bring us to this moment. We give you thanks for your guidance and companionship as we navigate the world of your created humanity. Keep us mindful of the humility of service and sacrifice forever demonstrated by your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. For the ones of you that are just coming in, if you're looking for a seat, there's plenty of seats to my left, be your right up here in the front. Uh, you get a front row seat up here. I'm Ray Brooks, president of Piedmont Technical College, and it is wonderful to be with you this fall 2017 graduation exercise. We gather right before the holiday season to celebrate each of you and your accomplishments, and I would like to congratulate you because you have given yourself the gift of knowledge, the gift of education, and it is a gift that will continue to benefit you for the rest of your life, and it's but a beginning. You can continue to grow, develop, and build on that, and it will sustain you. To the members of the faculty here that are seated in front of me, would you please stand? Let me thank you for all you've done to get these students here where they are today. <laughs> thank you so much for what you do each and every day to make our college an outstanding college. Piedmont Technical College serves as a seven-county region in the Lakelands and upper upstate in South Carolina. We're fortunate the college was created by an act of the General Assembly. Sally, is there something you need to tell me? Andy? Sally, Andy wants to tell you something. We're getting, I was getting talking points coming from my left over here. Back to where I was, the college was created by, established by the enact of the South Carolina General Assembly in the 1960s, and we have for over 50 years provided educational services and programs to the citizens of this state and surrounding states. In addition to the support of the General Assembly, we've, we have seven counties and the county councils in those areas that support the college and allow us to provide an affordable education to our students. Tonight we have members of those uh, county councils with us. We have from Abbeville County, and I would ask that each one of you stand when I call your name, and please remain standing if you would hold your applause till I've announced the group. We have Mr. David Garner, who is a county administrator from Abbeville County. We have Mr. Albert Talbert here from Edgefield County. We have Mr. Henry Brant Banks here from McCormick County. Ms. Mamie Banks also is a foundation board member from McCormick County. We have Mr. Theo Lane, who is here from Greenwood County, who also serves on our foundation board. We have Ms. Diane Anderson, who is a member of the Lawrence County Council and also a member of our foundation board with us tonight. We have Mr. Charles Jennings, chairman of McCormick County Council. And we have Mr. Frank Daniel, from Saluda County. I would ask you, did I miss anyone? I would ask for each of you to join me in thanking these ladies and gentlemen for the support they provide for the college, both day in and day out, and also allow us to work in each of your counties. Thank you for being here to celebrate with us tonight. Piedmont Technical College is fortunate to have a foundation which is a philanthropic arm of the college to raise money to provide scholarships, assist with equipment, and other needs the college has, which is, gives us the margin between being a good college and a great college. 
Some of our foundation board members I've already mentioned uh, before, but the ones if that are not here tonight, I thank them for what they do on behalf of the college and what it enables us to do as a college to provide enhanced learning activities for our students. When the college was set up in the 60s, the General Assembly established a board of commissioners that would oversee and govern the college and their representatives from all of the seven counties. Tonight with us we have Ms. Thelma Woody and I would ask again that each of you please remain standing until I've introduced the group who is on the foundation board representing Abbeville County. We have Mr. Y.J. Ahn, who represents Greenwood County, Dr. George Cohn, who represents Greenwood County, Mr. Richard Kane, who is the vice chairman of the commission, who represents Lawrence County, Ms. Cherry Brown, who represents McCormick County, and Mr. William Whitfield, who also is on the foundation board, representing Saluda County. I want to thank these ladies and gentlemen not only for their service to the college and their leadership, but also for allowing me the privilege of serving as president for the last, I'm in my 10th year now, it's hard to believe it's been that long, but thank you for what each and every one of you do for our college. Thank you so much. This is a busy season. My wife came home the other day and she had been to a, uh, sh a store shopping and we all, she calls them her little daily blessings that she gets from time to time. She was standing in line at one of the big box retailers and there was a young woman in front of her that had a small child with her. And between Pam and this young lady, there was another woman standing there. And when it got time to check out, the lady came up short of cash. She had not enough money to cover what she had and the couple of small presents she had for her child. Well, Pam, as she was reaching for her purse, the lady in front of her, Pam, heard her ask the uh, cashier, said, what do you need? And the woman with the child said, no, 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 I'll put something back. And the lady said, no, it would be my honor to, to help you and, and, and it would make me feel good. She said, that, I know that sounds selfish, but it'd make me feel good to be able to do that for you and your child. Well, that same feeling is what each of you have done for yourself. Forty years ago, when I first entered my education career and our child, or 38 years ago, our son was born, we were in a uh, store and if, you've in the, if you're in this business and you've been in it long enough and the faculty can tell you this, it's not that we don't mind students running us down out in the stores and in the highways and byways, but most of the time when somebody comes up to you, a lot of times they've got some challenge they're dealing with and you, you can get uh, a little uh, to the point where you think maybe that everybody that's wanting to talk to you has a problem. But on this particular day, and it was right before Christmas, we were in a Kmart. Now, there's not a lot of Kmarts left around, but our son was in the buggy, and a young woman came up to me, and she said, are you Ray Brooks? And I said, yes, I am. And I worked at that time at Northwestern Technical College in Georgia, and she said, you're the Ray Brooks that works at the college? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, are you the Ray Brooks that's in charge of the college? And I said, yes, I am. <laughs> and I thought, okay. And then she hugged me. And then she introduced me to her child, and then she got to telling me her story. And her story was that she had had some tremendous struggles in her life, some tremendous struggles. But one morning she said she got up and she decided to take control of her life and do what she could do so that she could make sure she could take care of herself and her child, just as the lady was at the cash register recently. So she went to our college, got her GED, went through developmental, went through, I know we got nursing programs and all the allied health programs, and she had went through one of those. She had gotten a job, and she said that was the first year she hadn't dread Christmas coming around. They had gotten out of the housing projects, they had bought them a house, and she was starting to get her feet on the ground, and I told her, I said, you have given me much more of a blessing than we could possibly ever give, have given you. And I just thank you for sharing your story with me. We have all kinds of stories over the history of this college where people have came for different reasons. 
But I'm always touched at this time of the year because as I said earlier to begin my remarks, you have given yourself the gift that will keep on giving. And my challenge to you is to never stop learning, never stop hoping, dream and dream big and continue to do the wonderful things that I know you'll do. And I congratulate you, I congratulate the members of your family, and it's wonderful to be with you here in this season of giving and to witness what you give yourself and what these individuals sitting in front of me here have helped you with. Congratulations, Godspeed, and if I can ever assist you in any way, please don't hesitate to contact me. Congratulations. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure today to introduce our speakers for the graduation ceremony. We're very fortunate to have two of our graduates as speakers for today. Our first speaker will be Cynthia Palmerin. Cynthia came to Greenwood from Guanajuato, Mexico, as her parents sought a better life. She loved numbers, and she decided to enroll at Piedmont Tech. She's going to receive her Associate in Applied Science degree with a major in Business Administration, Accounting Concentration. She plans to enter the workforce, and she will eventually continue her education. Elizabeth McCurry is going to be our second speaker today. Elizabeth was born and raised in Abbeville. She spent many years volunteering for every organization that she could find, from the Humane Society to the Miracle League. She decided she wanted to continue that work, so she started at Piedmont Tech, and she will be receiving her Associate in Arts degree. She will be attending Lander University in the spring to pursue her bachelor's degree in mass communications with a minor in nonprofit management. So please join me in welcoming our speakers for today's ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Cynthia Palmerin, and today I'm proudly receiving my associate's degree in business administration with an accountant emphasis. First, I want to thank God for allowing me to be here in front of you today and thank Piedmont Technical College faculty and administration for allowing me the opportunity to speak before you. I am honored and I greatly appreciate it. Well, class of 2017, the time has finally come. No more late night studying, procrastinating at its finest, or arriving late to class because we had to have that last cup of coffee. It's our time to shine, and it's okay to get excited and celebrate. I want to share with you a little about my background, my journey to and through Piedmont Technical College. I am originally from Guanajuato, Mexico. When we first arrived, it was very difficult. At, at the age of seven years old, I, along with my brother and mother, came to the United States to join my father, who was already working here. I was completely unaware that this would change my life forever. My family faced many struggles when we first arrived. We did not have a place to call home and no form of transportation. Looks like some of my fellow graduates, we faced the, the challenge of, of adapting to a new lifestyle, but we also aspire for a better future of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Since we did not know the language, everything was very complex. In the midst of all the struggle, a close family friend named Cheryl Stone, or as we like to call her, Felipa, helped us in our new journey. She has been a great blessing in my life. When my parents could not help me with my schoolwork, she was there to teach me how to read and write. She taught me that you do not have to be blood to be family. She, like my parents, taught me the importance of education. It is people like Felipa that give this world hope. People that love and care for others, regardless of where they come from, what they look like, and what language they may speak. I went through public schools graduating from Greenwood High School in 2014. While in high school, I was always focused on my studying and grades and helping my brothers and sisters too. I was lucky enough to find a job as an office assistant in an insurance firm. And between the job and my schoolwork, I discovered that I was very good with numbers. And I love working with accounts, figures, math, etc. So I, I hoped 
at some point in the future to pursue an education in the accounting career field. My life made a dramatic turning point when then President Barack Obama gave those of us referred to as dreamers the opportunity of working in this country and pursuing a higher education. With the help of what is known as DACA, individuals like me were able to find better jobs which would help support one's family. Many of us took advantage of this and decided to go to college. Of course, since we were not eligible for financial aid, finding the funds to pay for college was very challenging. The organization La Puerta de Esperanza helped me and other fellow graduates so we were able to afford to go to college. My initial time at Piedmont Tech was a major adjustment period, balancing work, school, and other commitments, plus helping my brothers and sisters too. I was also a little stressed in the beginning because I had heard from other students how strict the PTC instructors could be. But soon I developed an effective routine and applied time management skills and I'm, and the good grades follow resulted in a 4.0 GPA. I am proud of this accomplishment, not only for myself, but I always want to be a good role model for my younger siblings and to demonstrate to them how important good grades and a college education can be. I have enjoyed my enrollment at Piedmont Tech, but I always was consumed with financial worries. Fortunately, with the savings from my job and the continuous assistance of La Puerta, I was able to complete my degree. I want to say a special thank you to my accounting instructor, Ms. Carol McAllister, for uh, the moral and motivational support she provided me along my journey, and for always reminding me about those scholarship deadlines. Because of the support of everyone here, and all my friends and family, I am now finishing my college degree with hopes of finding a real career in accounting and pursuing my bachelor's degree in the near future. Finally, I want to thank my parents in their native language. Mom, Dad, les quiero dar gracias por el amor incondicional que siempre mostraron para mí y por todos los sacrificios que tuvieron que pasar para que yo estuviera aquí hoy. No sería la mujer que soy hoy sin la ayuda de ustedes. Gracias por motivarme y aconsejarme en todo. Sí se pudo. Los amo y muchas gracias. So, to the December 2017 graduating class here today, I want to congratulate everyone. Let's remember that this is just another chapter in our lives. Regardless of where we come from, Ideally, we have dreams and aspirations. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you want to go. Behind you are all your memories. Before you are all your dreams. Around you are all those who love you and within you is the strongest person you'll ever be. Tomorrow is the start of something new and the best is yet to come. I wish everyone a happy holiday season and a Feliz Navidad. Good afternoon, Dr. Brooks, faculty and staff, friends and family, and last but certainly not least, the Piedmont Technical College graduating class of 2017. I am Elizabeth McCurry and I'm representing the Arts and Sciences Division this afternoon. I feel so humbled and blessed to be one of the people addressing you. Before I begin, I want to give a special shout out to my family who didn't know I was giving this speech today. Surprise! And thank you for all your support. As I begin, I want to give you a fair warning. I am and have been my whole life a huge fan of Walt Disney and the Disney movies. So this theme will be prevalent throughout my comments today. When I was a child, I constantly wanted to watch Disney movies. I had a favorite, and that was the one that I watched over and over and over again. And so I'm pretty sure the VHS tape was ruined. That movie for me was Cinderella. I loved the music in it, and I would walk around the house frequently singing badly. My favorite song, 
A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. It made a lot of sense that this song was my favorite because I've always qualified myself as a bit of a dreamer. Walt Disney once made a statement that when what Cinderella wanted didn't come easy to her, she went to the castle and she got it herself. I would like to say that I've always known exactly what I wanted and was able to go get it whenever I wanted, just like Cinderella. Unfortunately for me, my college dreams and experience haven't always been the fairy tale I'd hoped for. You know in the Disney movies where there's always a turning point, a point where the whole course of the movie changes because of a decision made? Well, this point for me was my junior year of high school, and actually, it wasn't even my decision. I was applying and touring colleges with my heart set on being a Clemson Tiger. I'd, always, I'd been dreaming my whole life to be the first generation college graduate in my immediate family. I was at work on an ordinary day when my mom told me the news. I was going to have another baby brother or baby sister. At first, I was obviously so excited. Uh, would it be a boy or a girl? What would we name it? How would it look? But soon, reality started to set in. A new baby was expensive, and I started seeing my college tuition going towards onesies, bottles, and diapers. My parents and I then made the decision for me to go to Piedmont Technical College to get some general education classes. But I have to admit, that decision didn't come easily because I'd always dreamed of going to Clemson. Of course, coming to Piedmont Tech would save us some money and help me save up for college later. So it was the logical and practical decision, just not the one my heart had wished for. In my senior year of high school, my little brother was born. And honestly, he could have turned into the villain in my fairy tale story. I could have resented him and maybe even blamed him. Brian Lee was born on December 4th and placed in the NICU. He was a fighter, and I was the proudest big sister there ever was. As soon as he held my pinky finger with his whole hand, I knew that there was no way that he could be the villain here. And as it turns out, he may even be my hero. Before classes started at PTC, I had an appointment with a lady whose job it was to help me decide what I wanted to major in. Her name was Brenda Edwards. I walked into her office. She greeted me with a smile and politely said, Well, Elizabeth, what do you want to do here at Piedmont Tech? And since I was still wasn't sure I actually wanted to be at Piedmont Tech, I looked at her and I said, You know, Brenda, I honestly would rather be at Disney World and be a Disney princess. She said, That's great! Piedmont takes own Disney princess. Let's get you your tr college transfer associate degree, and then we can send you on your way to princess training. She made me feel comfortable and lightened the mood for the rest of the meeting, and I told her some of my real career aspirations. For at least my first month in school, I was miserable and honestly, a little scared. Scared of not accomplishing the things that I wanted to do. But then I remembered a quote that Thumper from Bambi said, If you're scared, just be scarier than whatever's scaring you. And then something clicked in my mind. I began to realize that whatever my career would eventually would become, I needed these basic classes so I could get on with my journey. I also recognized that everyone here at Piedmont Tech wanted me to succeed and was rooting for me. I started to love it here and I became a very proud student. So, all was going well. I was attending school full-time, working as a preschool teacher and loving it, commuting to Greenwood every day, and once again, life got in the way. I wrecked my car and was forced to use my college savings to buy a new one. This, of course, interrupted my college experience. So, I needed to take a little break from school and allow myself to regroup and re-energize. During my time off, I was able to secure a full-time job at Wesley Commons Retirement Community in the Activities Department, and I moved to Greenwood. Soon, I was ready to come back to my education, and naturally, I wanted to return to the same place I got my college start, the same place that showed me that someone else believed in my dreams. I turned to the person who had so much hope in me before, and I told her that I was ready to come back. Brenda said to me, just because something is difficult, like coming back to school, 
doesn't mean that it's impossible. Her saying that reminded me a lot of a quote from Pocahontas. Sometimes the right path isn't the easiest one. The time away from college and my financial struggles could have become the villain in my fairy tale. But of course, I didn't let it. With the help of the staff here, I was easily able to jump back into my classes. And with the help of financial aid, I was even able to save up some money for the future. And, speaking of future, I would finally decided on my career goals. All of my life, I've had a passion for volunteerism and community involvement. I was a Girl Scout from the time that I was six years old until the time I was a senior in high school. And since I was old enough to contribute, I have been actively involved with several organizations such as the Habitat for Humanity, the Ronald McDonald House Foundation, and the Humane Society. I also visit elementary schools and speak with younger female students about the importance of self-esteem and ways to achieve it, all while living a happy and healthy lifestyle. Realizing how much I love to communicate with others and how much I want to contribute to my local community by working with nonprofit organizations, I'll be transferring to Lander in January for a mass communications degree with a minor in nonprofit management. My extracurricular and student life experiences here at Piedmont Technical College, such as being the Phi Theta Kappa chapter president and a presidential ambassador, have only reinforced my desire to give back. I have even been able to assist with marketing the college that is helping my dreams come true. In the end, the only villains in my story were my own attitude and indecision about school and my future. I did encounter some obstacles along the way, which sometimes got me down and confused. And I've learned that as long as I can look at everything with a positive outlook, it'll all work out in the end. Snow White once said, remember, you're the only one who can fill the world with sunshine. And that's exactly what I plan to do. I want to say thank you to a couple people who have gotten me here. In the movie, Lilo and Stitch, one of my favorites, by the way, the character Stitch says that Ohana means family in Hawaiian culture. So thank you to everyone here at Piedmont Tech for becoming my second Ohana. A special shout out to my teachers, David Rosenbaum, Andy Omenson, and of course, Brenda Edwards. I couldn't have done it without you all. And a big thank you to my first Ohana friends and family who have been there for me through it all. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Mama, Daddy, Carson, Grammy, Papa, Uncle Daryl, Aunt Judy, and the rest of my family. The fairy godmother in Cinderella once said, even miracles take a little time. And here we are, graduating. It's a miracle. Thank you to my friends, and especially the Hannahs, for being amazing sidekicks. Thank you to Tyler, my real-life Prince Charming. And last but not least, a special shout-out to Brian Lee, who is the best little brother and yes, the hero in my story. I want to leave the 2017 graduates with a little advice for life, courtesy of the things that I've learned from Disney. I challenge you to head to higher education or the workforce with bravery. I challenge you to find exactly what you fight for. I challenge you to face your villains head on. I challenge you to establish what you want and go the distance. Everything you will do can be conquered with a little faith, trust, and maybe a little pixie dust. Christopher Robin from Winnie the Pooh said, You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. I know I've referred a lot to dreams and Disney magic here today, and I do appreciate your patience. But in reality, you have to be the one to make your dreams come true. Merida from Brave said, You control your own destiny. You don't need magic to do it. And there are no magical shortcuts to solving your problems. Graduates, congratulations, and I wish you all the luck from here to infinity and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia and Elizabeth. We need to get you to come out more, just a little bit. Yeah. And, in, and in keeping with the theme, one of my favorites is Dumbo. Don't ask me why. So the quote, don't just fly, soar. Thank you.
This part of our ceremony allows us an opportunity to recognize those students who have excelled academically during their time at Piedmont Technical College. In your program, you'll see that the names of some students are marked by stars. This indicates honor status. These students are wearing gold tassels. Now, a single star indicates that a student is graduating with a grade point average between 3.5 and 3.74 on a 4.0 scale. Will all graduates with one star please stand and be recognized? You can stand. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Now, a double star indicates that a student is graduating with a 3.75 to a 3.99 grade point average. Will all students with two stars please stand? Thank you. And a triple star indicates that a student is graduating with a perfect 4.0. That means these students have successfully completed every course they've taken with an A. Would you stand and be recognized? Thank you. The college is also proud to sponsor honor societies and we'll recognize some of those organizations and members at this time. I believe we have a nursing graduate from Lambda Chi Nu. So a member of Lambda Chi Nu and their faculty advisor, please stand, wearing a garnet stole. This student is a member of Lambda Chi Nu, the National Nursing Honor Society, which recognizes academic and clinical excellence. Congratulations to you. And we, I believe we have members of Tau Upsilon Alpha, so would you please stand and your advisor. Wearing medallions, members of Tau Upsilon Alpha is the National Human Service Honor Society, which recognizes academic excellence. Congratulations. I believe we have a member of Mu Alpha Theta with us, so please stand and your advisor. Wearing light blue and gold, this, a member of Mu Alpha Theta, which is the National Mathematics Honor Society recognizing academic excellence in math. Congratulations. And will members of Phi Theta Kappa and their advisors please stand? You will see these students are wearing gold stoles. They're members of Phi Theta Kappa, which is a national honor society for associate degree students. A cumulative grade point average of 3.5 is required for membership. Congratulations. I believe we have a couple of presidential ambassadors who are graduating today, so will you please stand? These students exemplify loyalty and service to Piedmont Technical College. They're chosen for academic achievement, their leadership skills, and a willingness to give back to the college. They represent the college and Dr. Brooks in a variety of events, and we appreciate that. Thank you. And I understand we also have some veterans graduating tonight. So if you'll please stand wearing the red, white, and blue cords. Thank you for your service. Now at this time, I would like for all county award winners to please come forward. Each year, the Piedmont Technical College Area Commission presents awards to students from each county who have earned the highest grade point average on a cumulative basis in an associate degree or diploma program. These students have demonstrated outstanding academic excellence, and we congratulate them for their accomplishments. Members of our area commission will be presenting these awards. And we will begin with uh, Abbeville County, so I'll ask Ms. Thelma Woody, commissioner from Abbeville County to come forward and make the county award presentation to a computer technology major, Mr. Danny Minich. Thank you, Ms. Woody. And now I will ask Dr. George Cohn 
commissioner from Greenwood County to come forth and make a presentation to a computer technology major with a networking concentration, Mr. Tyler Coates. And Dr. Cohn, if you will remain there, we have another county award winner from Greenwood County, young lady we just heard from, accounting major, Ms. Cynthia Palmerin. Thank you, Dr. Cohn. And now I will ask Mr. Richard Kane, commissioner from Lawrence County, to come and make a presentation to an administrative office technology major with a legal concentration, Ms. Ashley Brown. <clears throat> Mr. Kane, if you will stay with us there and make the presentation to our county award winner from Newberry County, a mechatronics technology major, Mr. Tyler Tucker. Thank you, Mr. Kane. And I will ask Mr. William Whitfield, commissioner from Saluda County, to come forward and make our presentation to an administrative office technology major with a legal concentration, Ms. Dulce Gant. Thank you. Let's have a round of applause for all of our county award winners. Graduates, it's an exciting time for you. It's an exciting time for your family and friends who have been along the journey with you or here at the end of the journey or at least at this stop point in the journey. Many of you are going on, many of you are going to the workforce, and as Dr. Brooks said, we wish you Godspeed. So on behalf of the faculty and staff of the college, it's been wonderful having you here as a student, and it's a privilege to be part of this special occasion with you this afternoon. It's now time to recognize the candidates for certificates, diplomas, and degrees. As the graduates are recognized, please hold your applause until all graduates have received their awards. Dr. Brooks, Mr. Kane, members of the Area Commission, faculty, staff, honored guests, and members of the audience, upon the recommendation of the faculty, it's my privilege and honor to present to you the candidates for certificates, diplomas, and degrees for the December 2017 graduating class of Piedmont Technical College. Assisting Dr. Brooks and Mr. Kane will be the Dean of the Division. Dr. Brad Griggs, Dean of Arts and Sciences, will assist first. Presenting the graduates will be Mr. Andy Omanson, Associate Vice President of Student Affairs. Will the graduates please come forward? Receiving an Associate in Arts degree, Danielle K. Bannister. Brittany Jeanette Brissy. Joseph E. Cade. Miriam D. Castaneda. Melissa R. Crenshaw.
Shakora Tejray Gori. Megan Elaine Hatchell. Julia Conkle. Elizabeth McCurry. Sierra Nance. Eric Reynoso. Amber Smith. Jamika Leanna Tinch. Receiving an Associate in Science degree, Malik Rashawn Davis. Haywood M. Smith. Elora Nicole Turner. And now congratulating those graduates from the Business Information Technologies and Public Service Division will be Ms. Sissy Copeland, Dean of that division, receiving a certificate in PC Technician, Danasia Mayetta Campbell. Receiving an associate degree in applied science with a major in administrative office technology, accounting concentration, Shane Michael Balknight. Anna Karen Ramirez. Legal concentration, Ashley Elizabeth Brown. Taylor Dawn Gable. Dulce Marisol Gant. Melissa Perkiron Homovich. Medical concentration, Amarani Guadalupe Correa Oresco. Summer Ann Grace Cox. Ophelia Leverett. Deidre Young. Medical coding and billing concentration, Tisha Michelle Abrams. Jessica Denise Burroughs. Heather N. Hellams. Major in Business Administration, Diana Jasmine Contreras Hernandez. Isaiah Seth Gilson. Tanya Lopez Salgado. Nancy L. Morrow. Accounting concentration, Cynthia Palmerin. Management concentration, Laura H. Dudley.
Alicia Jackson. Tanya R. Randall. Taylor Nicole Reed. Eloisa Guadalupe Santiago Lopez. Major in Computer Technology with an Information Technology Concentration, Landrella Bachel Jackson. Network Concentration, Tyler J. Coates. Aaron Alfonso Devlin. Programming Concentration, Caleb M. Faulkner. Danny H. Minich, Jr. Jeffrey Alexander Shelton. Major in Criminal Justice, Christopher Brown. Lamika Cade. Jared Graham Fowler. Tyler Brian Jabert. Shante Jones. Major in Early Care and Education, Madeline Suffren Johnson. Reba Marie Roberts. Pamela R. Williams. And now congratulating those graduates from the Health Science and Nursing Division will be Ms. Tara Harris, Interim Dean of Health Science, Dean of Nursing. Receiving a Certificate in Funeral Service Education, Christina Alvarado. Ashley Danielle Grimsley. Receiving an associate degree in applied science with a major in funeral service, Shane Owen Cole. Hannah Catherine Creel. Keisha Juanita House Oliphant. Ashley Christine Howe. Derek Steele Long. David L. Metzler. Brandy Ann Mims. Jana Hamby Morris. Krista Cherie Norris. Robert David Peterson. Morgan Elena Waldrop.
Major in Human Services, Marilyn A. Bulwer. Jaquetta F. Dodson. Quintara Jamelia Graham. Ashley Hartline. Gwendella Lyles. Tiffany Nicole Moss. Rose Ella Williams. Receiving a diploma in applied science with a major in practical nursing, Quintoria Brockman. Rotasha Shikeda Grant. Christina Marie Haley. Megan Eleni Rains. Receiving an associate degree in applied science with a major in nursing, Miracle Autry. Megan Rebecca Bledsoe. Courtney Nicole Burton. Ashton Elizabeth Cooper. Bethany Leanne Drake. Jessica Powell Dunlap. Edwina Y. Gullibo. Tammy Michelle Hartley. LaRonda Butler Reddick. Brittany M. Robinson. Casey Michelle Scruggs. Nicole Elaine Sharp. Ashlyn Wells Sweat. Brandy Louise Walker. Brandy R. Willis. Asia Lynn K. Cooks. And now congratulating those graduates from the Engineering and Industrial Technologies Division will be Mr. Rusty Denning, Interim Dean of that division. Receiving an Associate Degree in Applied Science with a major in Electronic Engineering Technology, Jason Lamont Hunter. Engineering Design Technology, Aaron Leanne Gillian.
receiving a diploma in applied science with a major in machine tool, Austin, Montana, Heplin. Major in welding, Rusty Michael Burton. Zaire Bahisha Corbett. Kevin H. D'Alessandro. Justin Riley Dixon. Rontavius T. Morton. Taekwon Devin Williams. Receiving an associate degree in applied science with a major in automotive technology, Nicholas Blake Hollingsworth. Major in general technology, welding concentration, Connor Young Wilson. Major in horticulture, Brianna Nicole Loftus. Cameron H. Rowe. Major in Machine Tool Technology, Andrigas Jamal Patterson. Major in Mechatronics Technology, Jacob Lester Sheely. Travisia Antoinette Thompson. Tyler D. Tucker. Will all the graduates please stand? Please join me in congratulating them. We ask that, um, congratulations graduates, we ask that all uh, guests please be seated and remain seated for the benediction and the recessional. Thank you. Happy holidays. Let us pray. I leave you with this blessing. May you forever have the desire to learn, see challenges as moments for growth and a willingness to accept advice. May you face fear with faith, embrace hope with excitement, be aware of your uniqueness, and share your gifts freely. May you know kindness, and demonstrate grace in return. And may we be thankful for all the blessings that come from God the Father, through Jesus Christ. Amen.